햇살이 반겨와도 I'm not fine 마음은 여전히 So let's start The first thing I do is go in with a supple preparation toner. This is from Claire's and it's the unscented version. It just makes your skin really, really deeply hydrated and plump and it doesn't cause any breakouts because it is fragrance free and I'm so glad they came out with this. I've been using this. It just soothes the skin and makes it look glowy and dewy. Next, I'm going in with this Paula's Choice SPF 30 moisturizer for daytime to protect my skin. And it's a very lightweight SPF and it doesn't leave a white cast it just spreads really really nicely and evenly for yeah and it just moisturizes your skin the whole day and, and after that i'm going in with a primer this is a delumi layer primer from vdl and it's a great primer if you want to achieve that glowy skin look um it's so so beautiful and so fine uh, the particles are not like glitter or anything it is very like radiant it looks like skin the primer contains prismatic pearls that absorb and reflect light and it's super super iridescent. It sort of gives you that, that strobing effect and the texture of it feels like a lightweight moisturizer which I love. So you can apply it on top of bare skin and it'll look like glowy skin. And you don't you can even mix it with foundation or apply it as liquid highlighter because it's so so beautiful. And this is the side with the primer and the side without the primer. And you can definitely tell there's a difference in terms of how glowy and dewy my skin looks. Um, it's just an amazing product and you can layer it as you need to. The particles in the primer are really, really fine and it doesn't give that glittery type look. It looks very much like your skin. It's a very, very natural yet beautiful highlighter primer. So yeah, I've been loving that. Next up, I'm going in with this it Cosmetics by Foundation in Fair Light and it contains SPF 50 to protect the skin and it's just a really really good match for my skin tone. The coverage is definitely very very buildable and you don't really need that much. Next up, I'm going in with this Milk Con Makeup Flex Concealer in the color Light and I love the dual fluid applicator on this and the coverage on this is just amazing. Not to mention they have a really really great shade range which I am totally for. I'm, I use this Real Techniques Miracle Sponge because it's affordable and it works really really well. To bronze up the entire face and just provide some color, I'm going to use this Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Serum. It is an antioxidant serum and it also gives color to the face. Um, this is great to maintain that dewiness so that I don't have to use too much powder on my skin. Next is the brows. I want to go for that bushy sort of model type brow. My brows are bushy but they're not like kept if that makes sense. I'm using this brow conditioner and just gently coat the entire brow with it. It just thickens the strands of the brow so it catches more product later on. You can tell after using it, one brow is thicker than the other and the hairs just stand up more. I'm using this pomade by Benefit. It's called the Cub Brow and using the thinnest Real Techniques eye brush on the right there. You can see it's a really, really fine brush. I'm just going to dip it in the cup brow gently and after that I'm going to make small fine upward motions and I don't want to blend it too much because I want to look make it look like real hair strands and you can definitely take your time with this according to how many strands you want. Next, I'm going to set everything with this Benefit Gimme Brow in number 5 and it's a brow mascara and it just helps the hair sort of stand where you want it to and yeah, this is how I create this bushy brow and it looks really, really good in my opinion, I guess. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with a cheek and lip tint and the reason why I'm going with this is because I want it to look like a stain, a blush that comes from, I guess, your own skin versus powders and you can use this on the lip and cheek. It's super, super versatile and not only does it contain a lot of pigment, it also stains for all day wear. It sort of looks like you're just finished a run and your skin is sort of flushed and I am so loving that look right now. I'm going in with the VDL primer again to highlight the cheekbones because um, who doesn't like highlighted cheekbones, right? Um, just apply it on the higher points and it'll catch the light whenever you take photos. This Milk 
makeup blur and set powder is amazing because it comes with a net so your powder just stays put and you can use it as much as you need to so yeah i've been loving that it's really great for travel because the powder doesn't get anywhere so just set anywhere that you want set i guess which is for me around the nose and honestly anywhere that you would get oily Next up, I'm going with this bronzer and I want to keep the eyes really, really light. So I'm just going to use the bronzer to define the nose, the eyes and underneath the lips a little bit just for some definition. Next, I'm going to go in with the cabrow again and define the lower lash line and also draw on, uh, tight line it basically just to give some definition. I don't want the eyes to look too heavy. I've been loving this color from Glossier. It's sort of like a really warm reddish orange and you can layer it as you need and it just gives such a beautiful flush it's super pigmented by the way and this is the color zip it gives such a beautiful rosy pout i'm loving it to finish up the look i'm going in with this nude pencil by nyx cosmetics and um to tie out the whole reddish look in i'm gonna use a red uh, lip liner to sort of line the inner corners and finish this up with some natural freckles i'm using two brow pencils for this and that's it this is the finished look guys it's a super easy rosy flush look and definitely you look like your skin is glowing from within because of the primer and i just love it it just catches the light in such a flattering way and when you take photos you'll notice definitely the highlighter will capture it in sort of like a filtered way I love it so much and thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!